Hi Roscoe here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video. One of my kind of viewers requested that I use these kind of nest guardling pets. So there's the corrupted nest guardling, or guard, guard guardian even. Using the feathered frenzy, got the extra plating. It has got some others like the fell emulate. I've gone with feather frenzy, feather frenzy, extra plating, and metal fist. I combined it with a wisp and a, a valk. So far this morning, I, I I first tested these teams. I was like, okay, that's that's pretty solid. They're doing well. Ran one more, and I was like, okay, I'm playing against this guy. He's playing kind of a, a trolley thing. A couple of close battles, and I think he's changed into this team, which is a bad team to kind of face. I don't see where the fun is. Essentially, all he's doing is deflecting, sandstorming, and then he uses the wish. Oh, I am just going to go for a shadow shock here. And now I'll get the curse of doom up. He is going to be able to deflect that frustratingly when it, when it used to come off. And now I'll get my horn down. I mean, maybe even going head to head with that, guys. Potentially the better better strategy. I'm gonna hold on to this because he does swap in the crawdad. So the reflection is gonna come up here. Wow. Let's just keep going for the damage. I don't get why he didn't use his deflection. He's my favourite frenzy here. Go for some damage. Off on the damage. Let's go to my wisp. Let's see if I can win the coin toss. Swap into the Valk. If he tries to swap into that idol, I'll be in. Could pot potentially go to use the. Okay. If he uses the Ice Barrier, I'm going to swap to my Wisp. Um, I can potentially dodge it when it, when it comes down. Gonna get my heel off. That's fine, I'll give me a chance to actually potentially charge this up. I just hope he thinks he can get that idol then. I'm just going to keep spamming away at this, I think. Let's go for my wish. Damage. And 
I'm gonna get my dodge up, I don't wanna get stunned by that. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna keep spamming away. This was super strong, it was a strong, strong pit, and now I've got it really charged up as well. Let's bring in the Captain Nest Guardling. There's probably going to be a switch here. I'm just going to spam my buff damage. I think maybe the heal would come. I'm going to get another strong one of these off now. The racial has been Fox. Just gonna go for the damage. Keep going for the damage. I do quite fancy my Valk to, to take him out. But, oh, such a. I mean, I'm so glad I'm running Wish on my IT. Cool, this next hit is it for him. I am going to swap to the Wisp just for the barrier potentially. If my wish. Now my dodge. Now just for the damage. Should I keep damaging? Yeah, so that's that team. I think I think it is the guy that I've been playing this morning. So he's not a bad player. Featherbomb, 2-0. I mean, I, I can't play the... <laughs> I guess I could. Could swap it up to that. Or Sneaky Tankers. Let's, um... Let's hope that I don't get him when he's in his bone serpent. Cool. So this isn't too bad a bat match up for me. I'm gonna start with my ghastly kid. And just go for my, my disease bites. I'm not gonna mess around with haunting or anything like that. I've got a weak matchup against that now. Yeah, I'm just going to keep in. Do good damage. I'm going to save my consume magic for the deflection. Swap to the Nest Guardian, and this is actually going to really kind of mess. If he stays in, it's going to really mess with his kind of switching. Yeah, so that's that's the combo. That's the kind of combo, and that's how 
Oh, well, it can work. It's now stuck in as well. So that was a combo I kind of wanted to actually get off. The crit really helped, obviously, but... Oh, he's running ice to two. I'm going to bring in the ghastly kid, I think. Uh, I can consume magic this off. I'll go for the horn. It's just watching for that ice barrier potentially. Now this could be a kind of time that he brings in the the idol. That's a big hit. Which gives some damage. Could become a really like a stall off. Let's just get some some damage down. Should I keep going for the damage until the sandstorm is up? Now I'm gonna swap to the the nest guardian. I'll go for Feathered Frenzy. Now just some damage. Keep him going for the damage. I'll go for Feathered Frenzy here. Cool, and he's, he's run away. Yeah, so I think usually I probably won the hoof, but because I was facing that idol, so I just kind of switch up to the disease bite. He'd get a bit unlucky with the kind of the one of these crit. But the, the co that, that combo is kind of the, the self synergy kind of combo this pet has the roots and the, the frenzy. This is probably the best kind of. Like selection on here, maybe you go for battle if you're quicker. But I've already got kind of multi turn moves, especially with the sandstorm, that would have really kind of weakened it and hampered this pet. I will try sneaky tankers using the sneaky marmot. If I queue into that team, I'm definitely going to struggle, I think. And this time, I've gone for the, the damage reduction. This will probably just be a quick, quick three battle video, just showing each of the teams I've kind of come up with. Yeah, I know a couple of haunt users in there, but it's difficult to make viable teams with these pets. And really, I don't play the Valk too much. It's not really a pet that I play loads of, and if I do, I usually play the Unholy Ascension. And then it's just kind of the pet, you just get as much damage off as you can. Swapping helps to that extent. It's probably going to be swapping their pets around. You're getting your Curse of Dooms off pretty much on cooldown, depending on dodges and things like that. You can just shadow shock away. It does fairly reasonable damage. It's got a lot of health. I do lean towards the the HH Valk. Yeah, it's slow, but the other one's not exactly super quick. So I will leave the queue and rejoin. I mean, potentially that guy could have stopped queuing. 
Um, but as I said, he did used to on those double magma ragelings, I believe. So it is a bit better than those those kind of um, matchups. I mean, this teams he runs are still competitive and still good. And he did give me a couple of losses in the kind of the warm up matches I was having. Sneaky tanks is definitely think it's a bit more gimmicky. Okay. I'm gonna start with my sneaky marmot. I imagine that the iron skin's gonna come in, so I'm just gonna get a kind of free hit off here. I'm gonna kind of risk it and just go for another hit. Could mean that I take a big hit. No. Now I'm gonna blinding powder his iron skin. Um I think I will just go for a, a hit. I'm going to see if I can duke it out, I guess. I guess probably that's my best best tactic. Duke it out with a bow. Um, I'm using the bow because it is more offensive than... I'm going to go for the blind and poison this time. There's some pretty serious head games going on. And unfortunately, this guy's lost them all. The iron skin almost certainly can come up here. I guess I'll just have to hit through. I'm going to take this hit on something. Sneaky Marmot might as well be the, the pet that takes the hits. I'm going to go with my blinding powder here. I could potentially be taking a rather sizable hit. I think the ice team might actually potentially come up. No, he's gone for the just the damage. So yeah, you're just kind of <laughs> solely seeing the power of the sneaky marmot. Let's throw a blind up here. And now this guy. I'm going to get some damage on that back, back pit as well with this. Cool, so, um, the Sneaky Mum is a good pet, I guess, I'd guess from that. It wouldn't have taken out that, that whole team. It's no kind of Emperor Crab or Terror Claw. I think the, the first couple of moves or so, I did kind of win the head games. With, I guess the first move, it was going to be best to go for that chomp. But then there are others with, with the the iron skin and stuff like that. And then me kind of just changing my tactic a little bit with the blind. I didn't get to show the ancient Nest Guardian that that one because essentially these pets had been unused until I swapped in the the die horn. Yeah, it would have got the the kind of the primal cry off. Probably then 
reducing the chance. I don't know how much health he had of the haunt. I mean, the haunt couldn't have gone on. There's no way he could have haunted. Yeah, the Curse of Doom. Would it have gone four rounds if it had Ness Guardian and the Marmot? It's still kind of there in the back. Yeah, well, um, thank you for, for watching. Yeah, that last one didn't really use the, the Ness Guardian. I did in the other two. I think I got wins in them all. So, but yeah, I mean, I did, I did lose. I did lose a couple of games with these. One against a really Healy combo I played first. And I think... I think maybe this loss against that as well. Because the matchup was really poor against one of the sands, Sandstorm whilst I was running the hoof on it. But yeah, so that's the, the video. Thank you for watching. I might try and get a couple done today. It is like really hot here in the UK, surprisingly. So if it's too hot, I might not. I might try and enjoy the weather. But thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you in the, the next video.